Hey there, today I want to briefly consider this 50L Plus Rainbow Series Microscope from the brand L-E-V-E-N-H-U-K. You'll have to forgive me for not trying to enunciate that, but I butcher pronunciation sometimes, so I thought I would just leave you with the word. Now there are three different microscopes presented in this series. You have the 50L, the 50L Plus model, and the D50L Plus model. They all have really good things with them, but if I had my say, if I went back and picked one up, I would actually go for the D50L Plus model. And the reason I say that is because the D50L Plus comes with a 2M digital camera as well as software. That means you can set it up to basically stream things into your computer so you can look at what you're doing, you know, and you can go back and really view what you've done afterwards. I think that would be a lot of fun, you know, as someone that's kind of getting back into it. I think that would be fun for every uh, level of experimentation. If you're talking about someone that's being introduced to science, someone that's doing projects, an intermediate user, I think they would have a lot of fun with that. But having said that, this uh, 50L Plus model is still pretty good. I, I really like it. You know, I've had a lot of fun with it. When you're looking at what it comes with, you have the microscope itself, you have your objectives, you have your 4X, 10X, and 40X. The 40X is listed for the 50L model, by the way. The eyepiece itself, you have the uh, 16X with the 10X listed for the uh, 50L model. You have two Barlow lenses. Um, you have your stage that's available, the diaphragm disc. You have your condenser. You have two different ways to illuminate this. I kind of like the fact that it has lower and upper illumination, and it has two switches. You have a switch on one side over here. You can see the light come on underneath for the lower illumination, and then you have another switch for the upper illumination, which is here. I think that's a nice setup. You know, you have independent controls as well as your normal controls for the staging and everything else. You also have adjustment and a lot of stuff you expect from a microscope, only in a nicer condensed model that also has a really nice aesthetic feel to it. With the uh, powering of it, you have two different ways that it's can be powered. You have an adapter, which is an AC adapter. It's a 220 volt, 50 hertz adapter. And you also have a placement in the bottom where you can put three AA batteries. You know, you don't have to go one way or the other. I actually like to have both available for me because I don't like being dependent on power, you know, if I'm doing something. Now, everything houses in a nice hard shell plastic case as well. I'll show you that at the very end because I'm going to have to reach over and get it. But I wanted to show you everything about the microscope first. Now, when you're looking at um, what else is here, this also includes a K50 experimental kit. Now, the experimental kit comes with quite a bit from your basic stuff like four steps and, and so on. To you have flasks that have uh, different things in them. You have yeast, glue, sea salt, and brine shrimp. You also have a little hatchery that's included. You know, and I thought that was pretty interesting. The uh, brine shrimp hatchery. It's kind of interesting to see how this stuff plays out. You know, I haven't, again, done a lot of this in a long time. And I didn't get to do this on my own. So this was actually a lot of fun to mess with. Now, out of the slides that come with this, you have a uh, onion, cotton stem, you know, you have different slices. I think of a tree trunk, a uh, pine, but my favorite was this uh, housefly leg. You know, if you want to show a kid what something looks like and show it under a microscope, the housefly leg was actually really interesting. Um, we had been uh, watching different movies as well. We've been watching The Thing, so I thought that was an interesting inclusion on there. You also have... Um, scrutinizing the microorganism, you know, which is an interesting book that uh, that comes with this for a user guide. You know, it walks you through a lot of stuff, including illumination. I thought this was actually pretty interesting because it treats you like you don't know anything about a microscope. You know, it talks about parts of the microscope, illumination, how to store it, and so on. I mean, there's a lot of different things here. I thought the uh, microtome and preparing slides, I thought that stuff was really interesting. And a lot of times when you pick up something like this, it does not go out after that. So really, when you look at that, I think this is, this is actually something that you really kind of want to have. And I think it makes this a lot more user-friendly. You additionally have a, um, a, 
a pretty good instruction manual here. Now, some of the stuff it writes in there, it could be a little more concise, I think, but it's not confusing to the point that it's hard to use or anything. You know, you have different languages represented, which is good. You also have a breakdown of everything that comes with it, you know, exactly what the parts are and what they're for, and really use of the microscope. And if you get the uh, the upgrade, the reason I knew about the digital camera stuff without owning it is because it's explained in the uh, manual, too. I thought that sounded really interesting. The one thing that was confusing about that is everything comes in the same kind of box. It, they're all marked the same. So I thought for a minute, maybe I'd picked up a D50L Plus model. And it kind of made me excited. But it really makes me want to go back and pick one up. Now, when we're talking about the uh, hard shell casing as well, we have a, a really good hard shell case. I'm going to move this out of the way. And what we're talking about is a pretty sizable hard shell case. When you're looking at it, you know, it's got a couple of paper from the, uh, from the things that it came with for storage. But you can see that it houses the microscope really well. Plus, it houses all of the individual pieces that this comes with. So you're talking about something that you could take with you or you could put away really easily. You're not going to have a lot of problems from it. You know, and this is a very sturdy case, too. I was actually impressed by everything that this came with. And really, you know, when you get down to it, I think it's a really good model for um, for different user levels. Like I say, it's something that you're going to set up, and if you really sit down and look at the uh, different reading material that came with it, you'll get a lot out of use. All right, I think that pretty well includes everything here. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to get back to you about it. All right, thank you.